Hi everyone, welcome back to Codera. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem D, blue-red permutations from the latest code forces round 753 rated for division 3. So let us first read the problem statement. So the problem says that you have been given an array of uh, integers and the array name is A, which is of length N. The elements of the array can either dif be different or they can be same. So for each element of array, it is colored either blue or red. There are no unpainted elements in the array. So each element is painted either red or blue. That is the case. One of the two operations can be applied in one step. So in one step, either you can select any blue element and decrease its value by one, or you can select a red element and increase its value by one. So the situation in uh, situations in which there are no elements of same color, uh, of some color at all are also possible. For example, if the whole array is colored blue or red, uh, one operation becomes unavailable. So if there are all, all the elements are blue, then you can only decrease all the elements by one. And uh, if all the elements are red, so you can only increase them by one and you cannot perform the uh, alternate operation, right? Uh, def determine whether it is possible to make zero or more steps such that the resulting array is a permutation from 1 to n. So you have been given some integers and the number of integers are n, right? So you have to perform these two, uh, either of the two operations in one uh, in one operation, you can perform either of the two steps and you have to tell that after performing several, possibly zero or more than zero operation, is it possible for you to make the given array, to make the elements of the given array in form of the permutation 1 to n where 1 and n all are inclusive and each is coming exactly when then only it will be a permutation, right? So first of all, let me tell you what is a permutation. So 1, 1 and 2, is this a permutation? No, because for this, the number of elements are 3. So 1, 2, 3 will be a permutation, right? It can be in any order, but all the elements from 1 to 3 should be present and they should be present only once. So let's say 1, 1, 4 and 3. Is this a permutation? No, this is not a permutation. But 1, 2, 4 and 3 are permutations because each element from 1 to 4 are present exactly once and all the elements from 1 to n are present, right? So this is what a permutation means. Uh, from 1 to n permutations means that all the elements from 1 to n should be present exactly once, right? After this, the thing that has been given to us is that suppose for a particular number, the color comes out to be blue. So if the color is blue, then you can subtract it by one. Okay, you can subtract it by one. If the color given to you is red, then what you can do? You can add one to it, right? You can do this. So by doing these operations, let's suppose that you have been given some array. Let's take the array uh, from the input. So let's say we have been given the first test case. That is this case. Let me just copy it so that we can work upon this. Okay, so this is the test case that has been given to us. Uh, for one, one, uh, let me just uh, first of all color them. So we have blue, then we have red, then again we have blue and then we have red, right? So this is the order that, have, uh, that we have one, two, five and two, right? So since the value of n is four, you can see that the value of n is four, right? So since the value of n is four, so you need a permutation that has all the numbers one two three and four exactly once right so what you can do well first of all you have a bunch of red colors and blue colors let me change the color for the for the red ones as well so that things are much more clear to us so this is red this is red so first of all first thing you know that for blue color you will be subtracting it by minus one for the red colors you will be adding one to them so first of all let's let let us first uh, in a vector what we will do in a vector on a or in a list in case of java or a, in any other language any suitable data structure first of all we'll collect all the red and blues okay so we have from the for the blues we have one and five and for the red we have two and two right so also one more thing since we want to make a permutation from 1 to n, all the numbers from 1 to n should be present. So how should you collect all these numbers? Let's suppose that you had 5 comma 1. Let's suppose that you had blue in 5 comma 1. So when you will check for all the availability and you will try to form a permutation, then if the if the all the blue colors and all the red colors, if they are not sorted, then in that case, it will be very difficult for you to optimally make a permutation from 1 to n. So what you can do is, to resolve that problem, 
to make your case easy you can do one thing and that is that you can sort the blue colors blue colored numbers and the red colors numbers in ascending order this will make it easier for us to figure out that whether we can make a permutation 1 to n or not initially we will uh, we will assume we will mark a flag or ok variable as true because initially we will assume that we can make a permutation from 1 to n after this let's say you come to this let's say you have this element right uh, one more thing one more thing before moving on let's say let's say there will be some edge cases that i want to discuss with all of you so what will be those edge cases like uh, while i was giving as well so i took care of these test cases so not edges edge cases uh, so there will be some edge cases edge cases for this problem what will be the edge cases so the first edge, edge case would be that let's suppose that you have a color you have a blue you have a element that is colored as blue and that blue element if that blue element is what you can only decrease a blue element right so let's say that that blue number is nothing but negative or zero so if that if a particular number is either negative or it is equal to zero then in that case for that particular blue number you can only decrement it right so you will not be able to make it since since the number is lesser than equal to zero since the particular number x will be lesser than equal to zero so in that case what you what will happen with you you will not be able to bring it in the range 1 to n right not 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 any number between the range 1 to n so in this case you can see that no no answer will be available for you so in this case you can simply print a no because this is an edge case where if the blue number is given to be lesser equal to 0 then in that case you cannot move from 1 to n you cannot make the number from 1 to n because with blue only you can subtract minus 1 right subtract the number by minus 1 the second case that we need to keep a check of is that that let's suppose what what happen is what happens is let's suppose you have red color you have a red color and that red color is greater than n the value of that red color let's say the value is x if the value x is greater than n if a particular value x or arr of i let's say even arr of i no matter uh, the name doesn't matter much uh, all we want is concept so array of i let's say if it is greater than n then what will happen in the case of red you can only do a plus one right you can only add your you can keep on adding your particular red colored number x right so in this case or arr of i so in this case you can only keep on increasing its value and you cannot make it in the range that number cannot make it in the range 1 to n right from 1 to 2 up till n and n minus 1 from 1 to n you cannot make your this number right so in this case also it will not be possible for you and you will print no because in this case also a permutation from 1 to l such that all the numbers are present exactly one from 1 to n and uh, they can be in any order this will not be possible right so these are the two edge cases that that you need to think and if you will solve such problems even if you couldn't solve such problems then after you see this video this should this should be in your mind always like you need to take care of edge cases a lot right after this after this like how can we approach the question further so what will happen uh, blue is 1 5 and red is 2 2 2 right so let me write it once again the blue colors are 1 to 5 and the red colors are 2 comma 2 what do i need to make i need to make for blue i can do uh let me change the color so for blue i can do a minus one right for blue i can do a minus one for red i can do a plus one right these are the properties that have been given to me initially so now i'll figure out now let's say i come uh, i need all the elements from one to three to four right so i'll try to generate all of them and let's say i come to this element so once i'm at this element blue so i can see that one has been made okay so i'll say that okay one has been made no problem so that is why i'm taking a flag or an okay variable as true or you can say flag you can take any variable of your choice you can take any other name variable the name doesn't matter initially we'll assume that we can make the permutation from one to n possible after this let's say uh, what can happen let's say i'm at this element right so from this element can i make a two uh, i can take any element no problem so let's say i take this two five so i can decrement it right i can decrement uh, five minus one minus one minus one three times i can decrement minus one and after that i can make two as well from this right after this once i come to red so from this two can i make a three yes i can make a three from this two right so now i have also made a three because by adding one so two plus one will give me a three 
After this, I have this two, right? I have this two and I can add one to it. Again, I can add one to it. I'll get a four, right? So I get this element as well. So you can see that all the numbers from one to two to three to four, that is the value of n is here four for this test case, all are possible. So in this case, you will print a yes. Now you can similarly check for all other cases. And let's say, let, let's check for one more case, one, one and BB. So one, one and BB, right? So this case is what? Let's let's look at this test case as well. So the test case is B, B and 1 and 1. So you know why I have uh, corrected all the blues and ones, blues and reds differently, separately and sorted them as well. Sorted because we want an increasing order from 1 to n that will be comfortable for us to check. Apart from this, why I have clubbed blues together because blues I can only subtract them by 1 and red the, val the red variables I can only uh, add increment 1 to them, right? So now uh, the value of n is 2, I need a permutation from 1 to 2. This variable, can I make a 1 from it? Yes, I can make a 1 from it. So now I can make a 1 from it. From this 1, can I make a 2? No, I cannot. Because in case of blue, I can only subtract it by minus 1. So that is why this element will not be able to make it, right? Now you, you can see that I, I told you that x is less equal to 0. In that case, we need to print a no. And in, if x was greater than n and it was... Uh, it was red then also we needed to print a no but in this case you can see that one cannot make a two why because uh, we do not have any red color uh, that, that could have increased if this was red then we could have increased it but since and we do not have a blue color which is greater than this uh, value two or three so that is why we cannot reach it and from this one you can only go down you or you can remain the same so that is why you can see that this permutation will be not possible so you can print a no for this case so similarly you can keep you can dry run for all these cases but i think that this much cases after doing this much dry run you will be perfect now let me discuss my code with all of you like how i wrote it what i basically did was first of all you take the value of n after that you input all the elements of the array once you input them, you take the string that denotes the number of blues and reds. After that, uh, if the ith element is blue, then you push it into the blue vector. If it is red, you push it into the red vector. You sort both the red and the blue. Sort the blue, uh, blue in ascending order and sort the red in descending order. Why? I will be telling you, you it is not necessary, but uh, for sake of simplicity, we can do that. After that, I'll initially mark my OK as true, assuming that I can make the permutation from 1 to n possible. After this, if my blue is lesser than the, if if I have a blue, if I have a current blue such that my that particular blue is less than the i plus 1 because I am taking a 1 based, uh, I am going from 1 to n, right? I am not, I, I have to increase i by 1 because I want permutation from 1 to n, right? So if, if a particular ith blue cannot be able to make it, uh, it's, it is less than i plus 1 so that means that i cannot i cannot make it i cannot make the permutation possible right similarly for red red if the red if a particular red is greater than the n minus i then in that case also i'll not be uh, for the red i cannot decrement them right i cannot decrement them so in the, those cases as well i'll require to increment them right I, I i can only increment them and i cannot decrement them so that is why i need to keep them as false right uh, apart from this like instead of this solution also uh, you could uh, apply a two pointer approach as well keeping i is equal to 0 and j is equal to n minus 1 and uh, you could have applied a two pointer as well and uh, you could have checked for both in this way also it was possible and much more safer i should tell you so two pointer approach would have been much much better for this but this approach also works and it got accepted uh, so in case if you have any doubt with this question you can mention that in the comments if you had any other approach you can also mention that in the comments and uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel we bring video editorials related to code forces and code uh, ad coder uh, current contest so thank you everyone for watching and uh, bye